Hey guys, thanks for joining me in this video and my goal in this video is to share with you how we can create a certificate of deposit ladder. Now, as we all know, certificate of deposits are promissory notes that we can often use to minimize the risks that we are taking in our investments. By investing in certificate of deposits, what happens is that we are putting our money into a bank or giving it to a credit union and by doing that, they promise to pay us a certain amount of money every month in interest or in coupons. Now, we can always have different options of where to put our money temporarily. We can always put our money in like a savings account. We can always put our money in high interest savings account. But certificate of deposit, on the other hand, is a way to also store our money without putting in at too much risks, like in putting like a stock market or some other form of investment that we are not guaranteed any form of returns in a near term. On the other hand, with certificate deposits, you are guaranteed a certain interest rate for a duration of time. However, you know that you have to leave your money in that account until maturity. Now, if you decide to take that money out before maturity, then the problem is that you end up having to pay some fees. Generally, you always want to avoid doing that. You don't want to pay fees on something that may not pay you as much in interest and that is because by putting your money in a certificate deposit most of the interest you're going to get in in return won't be as high as we know stock market often returns about seven percent averagely in a year but on the other hand certificate deposits would be within a range between of one percent to maybe two percent and that is obviously low but that's a lot higher than what you would get in some savings account. So before we go on, I would just like to introduce myself. My name is Steven Ojo and on my channel, I talk about saving money, investing money, and how we can maximize the use of our money through creating passive income. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider checking out my channel. And if you find some value in my channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also, if you find some value in this video, consider giving this video a thumbs up because it definitely helps a channel like mine. So let's get to the video. Now, one of the reasons why we create a certificate of deposit is to minimize interest rates risk or inflation risk. Now, to give you an example, let's assume that you have $3,000 that you want to invest in a certificate of deposit. You have a lot of options of investing in a one-year CD or you invest in a 10-year CD. Generally, a certificate of deposit will often have low interest rates on the short-term CD while on a long-term CD you generally have a higher interest rate or yield. So what will ha happen between this time is that let's say just to put random numbers here on the one-year CD you're being offered one percent in return and on a 10-year CD you're being offered maybe five percent in return. The problem with this is that you could choose to go for that 10-year CD because it offers more return but what if interest rate changes in they say two years from now now if interest rate changes let's say you know things go back to normal and now they start offering a cd that is uh maybe for a 10 year cd or even five year city you're going to be offered maybe seven percent now you're going to be you know regretting the fact that you invested in a long-term city that is offering interest that are lower so in order to minimize this risk people often create a ladder now the ladder effect is that as interest rate changes you would often have opportunity to invest your money at the current interest rate the other risk that i mentioned is inflation risk if you think about this let's assume that the current inflation projection is about two percent and you are locked in a 10-year cd if the next in the next three years or four years if inflation rates picks up to about three percent by the time you actually get back your returns of five percent remember that's what that 10-year cd promised you what you will be getting back is the average of the inflation rate. So for example, let's say the average came out to be 2.5. What you're getting back is about 2.5% effective rate. Now this is something that is a bit more technical because you know we're looking at the returns minus the average of the inflation. But again, during that time, inflation increasing, generally they try to increase interest rates. So it still goes back to interest rates again. If interest rates goes up, you start offering cities that probably pay maybe 6% or 7%. And what would end up happening is that your city won't be as valuable or at least won't be returning what the current yields of cities are offering. So in order to maximize and reduce these risks, we can often invest in CD ladder. Now by investing in CD ladders, we are basically staggering our investments over time. So I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say for that same 
$3,000 that you want to invest, instead of investing for 10 years, we can choose to invest $1,000 for one year. We can choose to then invest another $1,000 for two years and another $1,000 for three years. Now, by doing it that way, what will happen is that in one year, our $1,000 that we invested today will be up and then we can choose to reinvest at a current interest rate. In that one year time that the city, current city is up, the first one, the second city would only have one year left. So by the time we invest that first city, we invest it towards the end of the next two cities that, have, that are left. We have one year left on the two year city and then after one year again, the two year city will be up again and then we can pick that investment and reinvest again for three years. So what will end up happening is that for every year going forward, a city will be up and we can always choose to reinvest it at the current interest rate. Now, like I said, this is a huge benefit because now you're investing at the current interest rates and you're not going to be worried about being locked into a very long term city that is probably going to be offering something lower than you are been offered in the current market. The other benefit of using a ladder form is that by the time you invest in a ladder, you would often have some money coming up every year, which means that if you choose not to invest your money in the city anymore, you can easily take your money and take it elsewhere or into another form of investment that might pay you better. And again, this is one of the benefits of having a ladder. But the key reasons of investing in a ladder is to maximize our chances of investing at a current rate. Now, this doesn't necessarily guarantee that we would always get the best rates. As we know, interest rate has been decreasing for the past couple of months. Is it going to decrease further or even go into negative interest rates? Well, we don't know what the Fed is going to do. But what we know is that if we are investing at the current rate, we know that we are getting the best bargain available. Now, when it comes to setting up your city ladder, you can do this in different forms. Depending on where you're choosing to invest your money, if it's a credit union or a bank, they often have a city ladder option and most of the time this is always easily uh, set up because it's just a self-guided approach where you just make a couple of clicks and you set it up yourself in fact i'm going to be sharing one with you through td ameritrade account on the other hand you can also set up your city yourself it's just about figuring the amount you have and what interest rate you're being offered split that amount up in number of uh, ladders you want to create or rungs you want to create and then you start invest that money at the same day or maybe generally you want it the same day so that the city has the same maturity going forward from there. City center, build your home ladder, select and continue here. I want an individual join account and then the next thing I want here is I don't want uh, tax exempt investment. And then here, my first payment is going to be 2020. I want a six year ladder uh, with two rungs. How much am I investing? I mean, putting about $3,000, for example, and I want high quality. I don't want all of this ones. I don't want bonds, just want the cities. And as you can see, I have one from First Bank, Richmond, and that is offering about 0.05 year to maturity and another one that is uh, 0.98 which is Goldman Sachs now the minimum I can have to, have to either put in a thousand or five thousand dollars and that's why it's only showing two thousand dollars here so I can't do fifteen hundred in each so that means if I make this purchase now all I'll be investing is that two thousand dollars and by the time I get my interest back, it's, this is what it's gonna get me. And this is gonna be the total that I would get back, all right? Now, obviously interest rates are very low now, that's why this is all so low, very, very low. But that is what it is, it's as simple as that. I'm not gonna make this purchase because I'm not trying to buy one, but I'm just trying to show you how simple it is to set up one. I'll probably make more videos on this if I see that this is something that a lot of people are interested in. So, if you're interested in something like that, let me know in the comment section below and I'll probably try to spend more time in this setup and maybe better explanation if there's something that isn't clear. I hope you found some value in this video and I hope that you give this video a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think and I hope to see you in my next video. All right, so thanks for staying through to the end and I hope that I've covered most of the information that you're seeking and I hope I've explained some of this 
areas and about city ladders in a proper way so if you're still looking for more information consider checking out my other city videos and also if you gain something from this video please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because it definitely helps my channel i'll see you in my next video